My name is Tate Taylor, and I am the writer and director of the feature film, The Help. I have a marketing degree in college, and I was in PR and marketing in the petroleum industry in Memphis, Tennessee, and, and I was doing well, but I was bored. I didn't know why I was bored. And, and they started filming in Memphis, Tennessee, they started filming a, a movie called The Firm. It was based on a John Grisham novel, and Tom Cruise's character's home was in my neighborhood in Memphis. And I would come home at night and take my suit off and put on a black t-shirt and black jeans and go hide in the bushes and watch them making the film. And, and um, something just came over me. I was propelled to be in the business. I had to learn more and had to, to do more. And, and um, I eventually got on a job as a production assistant and um, just started working my way up and pursued acting and writing, directing all at the same time because they all seemed to go together to me. The first project as a filmmaker was a short film that I wrote and directed called Chicken Party back in 2003. A judge had sent a group of people to do manual labor to pay for their crime and uh, this happened to a friend of mine and that first night he goes everybody is there there was a rich lady there there was a really poor person there and I was just fascinated by the dynamic of through the court system people from varying walks of life are made to work together one whole day and I just realized they would be a, an embarrassment of riches as far as possibilities went throwing people together who normally would never speak to each other and that's where the idea came for the short film My best friend wrote the novel and it's, a, it's very close to me because it takes place in Mississippi where I'm from and um, I got the rights from my friend and then I put many of my friends in the movie and, and uh, we all, we've all kind of, most, most everybody that was a part of Chicken Party are pretty ugly people I brought to the help. I just have my group, my, my troop of weirdos that we go around and make movies with and, and we, we kept doing it even with the help being the big movie that it is takes place in Mississippi in 1963, um, a very pivotal time in American history. It was the dawn of the Civil Rights Movement. And a young white girl named Skeeter decides she's going to write a book interviewing black maids in the South who are going to tell her what it's really like to work for the white people in their homes and how they're treated. So it's an adventure of sorts and, and, and truth being told, but it was, it's quite dangerous and it's risky. To, to, to back then to speak your mind and be heard and try to right the wrongs of, of your society. Cinema is great because it, it, can, it can empower you. It can be a portal in which you can look at characters changing and you can, you can feel empowered by those characters and it can inspire you yourself to change or to think about things and it may even cause people to engage in discussions that they've never had before because of cinema. My only advice if you say you're a filmmaker, or even if you say you want to be a filmmaker, you have to make stuff. You have to always be happy. You have to always be in the, in the middle of a project. Just like if you want to be a writer, you can say you want to be a writer, but you have to write. You may be 95 years old before you finally get it, but hey, you never quit. Keep trying.